Hi all folks, this is Max from EpicTouchRoot.com EpicForgeTouchRoot.com, sorry. Um, so I've got a, a version 3 here, um, still beta, but um, I'm just gonna put it up there um, because it fixes a lot of stuff. I'm just trying to work on stuff, it's just taking me a long time. Um, but I've got the Clockwork Mod Recovery uh, version 4.0.1.5 on there. Uh, USB mount works. Um, you just have to do, uh, you have to actually boot it, uh, reboot once um, to get it working. Go to mounts and storage. Uh, let me actually show you me flashing. Actually, I'm going to flash the AE mod ROM. Um, so I'm going to mount storage and then let's go to our computer. And sorry for all the mess because I'm working on this stuff. Uh, but you can see um, E. Oh no, yeah, E. E is the drive. Um, this is my Epic 4G touch drive. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I got stuck at the auto shop all day. Anyway, I'm going to get the AE mod and copy it over. Where is it? I have way too many files here. Um, so here it is, AE mod. Um, copy. And then I'm going to copy it in here. Uh, paste. Um, so this is going to be good since uh, now you can use USB mount from uh, Clockwork Mod. And I, let me also talk about what I've added. I've added, uh, I added uh, SU 3.0 and with the binary. So if you flash my kernel and Bubba's and you go back and forth, you'll be fine from now on. And also I added uh, boot animation. Um, all you have to do is uh, copy over uh, the boot animation dot zip to your uh, system slash media directory and that's all you got to do it's very easy to do but let's go to our phone and go install this new ROM um, so let's go back hit the power button um, go back hit the power button you don't have to wipe at this point the wipe function I don't know why it's bugging out um, even Bubba's it's bugging out so just to Install zip from SD card. You can just write over your current kernel. Choose zip from SD card and uh, AE mod. Um, this is my first time. It's supposed to work, but make a backup using Clockwork Mod Recovery. Say yes, and uh, it's st installing the new ROM and hopefully it'll boot up with the new AE mod. And I'll have review of the AE mod for the uh, the uh, Galaxy. S2 uh, phone here. Sorry, I'm. Just, I've just been at the auto shop all day. I didn't even eat anything. <clears throat> I just ate a nice sandwich, and you know. Anyway, I'll be back when this is uh, done flashing, and I'll also show you how to uh, insert boot animation to your phone. Alright, well, folks. So it's done. Hit go back. Hit the power button. Reboot system now. Hit the power button. And uh, hopefully we'll have a new um, ROM here. So I'll be back when it boots. I'll show you it does. Uh, boot up animation if there is any, but I don't know if it does. Um, so hold on. No, it's it. Uh, the ROM itself didn't change the kernel. Um, so I've got the stock boot up. So I'll be back. Hi folks, so I did get to install the AE mod ROM, uh, the beta version. Uh, so let me show you, I flashed the ROM, but uh, the kernel should stay the same. Um, I added in the version this time, so you can see that when you flash new ROMs and stuff, you can still see that you're on Xenomax Epic Touch kernel v3. Um, so it works fine with the Android Erections beta. Um, by the way, uh, one of the first rhymes, ROMs out there, congratulations um, to the dev. And uh, let me see if our super user is working um, by opening up. Oh, you know what? Yes, we have super user. Okay, so I've got the beta super user on there. Uh, let me go install a set CPU app and I'll be right back. Now, um, for some reason, it's, I didn't wipe anything and this ROM erased all my apps and everything, so um, just one note, but it's still beta, so I'm sure that will get worked out. Uh, but I, I, that's why you should make a backup. Um, now I can go back. 
Uh, anyways, this is uh, um, with the stock running it. Uh, let me show you the performance running stock. You don't actually lose. A lot of people saying that you're losing performance. Oh, I gotta go download Quadrant. Sorry, hold on. So I'm still syncing, so it's gonna be a little bit lower. But if I get something near 30, 100, 30, 200, um, that's pretty much exactly same as stock. Uh, but I was testing it out for a couple of days, and uh, the V3 has pretty good battery life. Um, and the V2, they're actually the same. Um, but just on stock without set CPU app, it's getting, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't see it before, but you know, I had it, I had a 4G on, I had a sync on, I had GPS on and I left it for last night and then uh, it didn't drop that much. You know, I was still at like over 90%. Um, so the battery life is really good on stock without set CPU while also the performance is supposed to be pretty good. So I got 3021. Uh, that's my very first try, but you can see I just signed up my my Gmail, so it's syncing everything. So you should get uh, when it's done syncing, you should get around 3200, 3300, uh, which is what I got when I first reviewed this phone completely stock. Um, so for most users, you don't have to even use the overclock. Um, for those of you who want to um, take advantage of it, then you can get the Set CPU app. Um, just Google it, and you can install that. Um, oh God, where is it? Uh, I think it's just in my external drive. Uh, sorry. I know, let me go install it. So I've got the set CPU app working. Um, and uh, we'll test out the super user 3 root. And uh, we can overclock it. I got it to 1.504, which works pretty good. Um, so that's that's cool. You won't get that SU binary uh, when you're flashing between mine and Bubba's uh, boobies kernel. Sorry, uh, not Bubba's. Um, and uh, let me see. I haven't. I wanted to add the. Um, well, you know what? In the next video, I'll have how to add uh, boot animation. Um, you can just simply copy over any boot animation .zip to system media, and you'll get the uh, boot animation. Uh, but the stock sprint uh, splash screen, I'm still working on it uh, because I don't have the files and it's all in, you know, they, they hard coded it into like variable, <laughs> variables and freaking why did it have to do that? Just put a, you know, and they put this QMG file, you can't even like, you know, it's encrypted. Like Samsung does some, some of these things like really, I don't know, off. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna get that done just it's gonna take me time that's why I'm just gonna put this up because people are waiting for the next version and um, you know that's gonna take me longer than you know this so I mean this is just a little bit of what I've been working on and uh, I just wanna so you guys don't have that SU error and you can get uh, uh, USB mounting on the CWM and also you can get uh, boot animations so that, those three are really the upgrades. Um, check it out uh, in the file links below. And I'll have more videos explaining it. And uh, um, make sure you reboot at least once uh, after you install the new kernel. Um, that kind of you know fixes everything. Don't just try to use it. Anyway, uh, this works for installing ROMs. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go try wiping. I haven't actually tried that. And then install the ROM. Well, you know what? That won't work because uh, the ROM doesn't have a kernel on it. Never mind. Um, so the the AE mod ROM, they, they, he has to put the kernel in also. Um, then you can wipe everything. I think. Well, yeah. Well, I don't know. We'll we'll see you next time. Um, and let me post a video on how to do the boot animation. See you later.